Good morning, Martians. Well, I had a question the other day about how to set up a scenario with the ISS, International Space Station. Um, so I, I went into low Earth orbit here. You can see I'm in the editor. And first thing I do is drop in the space station, which I believe is right under vehicles here. Um, where are you? There you are. Manned ISS. Locate where I want to go. Hit T. And bam! It's always very close. So let me get out of here real quick. There we go. Alright, let's see. Is that a good position? I guess that's a good position. Where's the docking ring? Yeah, I think it's right here. Okay, so, <clears throat> so let's say we move away from the station. Okay, first of all, what I always do is right click get my cursor go up here create a new scenario and we'll just call it ISS one's a title one's a this is a, and this is a file name so I tend not to use spaces in the file name anyway we're gonna hit create and then you have to actually save doing just creating it doesn't do it you gotta hit save okay so now my progress is saved you can pick the time of day in the weather, well, since I were in space, I'll just turn the weather down. If you're on the dark side of the planet, you can change your time uh, to get a day again. And every time you open this window, it resets the time. So if it gets dark while you're building, just open this window. And if you want to take a snapshot, you just, let's just go over here real quick. Take a screen cap of this. Hit this little guy here. Capture scenario image. There you go. Good enough. Gives me room for some text if I want. Close that. Okay, so like say I wanted a scenario <clears throat> like docking, which I did before. Let's just back away. Keep track of where the station's at, though. <laughs> I mean, you are in space here. Let's go ahead and drop in um, the manned aerial or uh, ascent vehicle, I believe it's called. Let's see here. Um, where are you? There it is. We'll drop that puppy in right here. Okay. Right click so I can move. Oh. Slow down a little bit. You lose track of everything. All right. So I'm trying to keep track of where everything's at. <clears throat> okay. So the thing about this, if you want to spawn in this at the beginning of the scenario, you have to put a guy in it. So let me slow down a little bit. And I didn't want to, I made the mistake of trying to put a heavy suit in here. Because, you know, radiation up here and all that. Um, but I did that, and he's too big, and it knocks the ship for a loop, and it went flying off. It took me an hour to find it or whatever. I had to start over. So I right-clicked to get a location, and I tried to use the medium astronaut. Light or medium, really. But I'm going to go with the medium just because of the radiation thing. So I hit T right here. Now he's going to fall <clears throat> when I jump into him. So let's back off a little bit. Sometimes it just vanishes when they hit the inside of the ship. So I'm going to hit the space bar to activate them. Oh, okay, there you go. See, I did that with the, the heavy suit. And yeah, the ship went bam, shot across space like three times in a row. So uh, let's go with this medium guy with the chair in his back. See, so we can jump in him real quick. Okay, now we're in the character. And before I get in a chair, let me get at him again. You want to set him to be the spawn. So let me slow down my scroll wheel real quick. Sometimes it can be tricky to grab this guy. Look how he's in the floor and stuff. So it's a little tricky. You got to kind of maneuver around. Be careful. All right, let's bring back up the HUD. Hit the space bar and grab just him. Did I just get him? Uh, yes. I don't have the ship. Okay, you want to make sure you don't have them both. Then over on the right here, you can see is start unit. So I put that on true. That means... I will spawn in him. He's me when I start the scenario, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Can generate missions. I'll go ahead and put that on yes or true, and then put this on one just for grins. Um, but like I say, this is some basic setup. So let me deselect him. i got to do that with the camera moving. Did I get him? Yes, I got him. Let's get out of here so I can see if I deselected this. All right, there we go. So now this guy is set up. So let me save one more time. Okay, so 
we're gonna we saved it. It's called ISS. So I'll just jump out of here real quick. Now this is just the basic thing. Um, there is a way to set certain commands and stuff. Like say when you dock, you have to go do something. That's an in-depth thing. I'll go into it at a later time. <clears throat> but just to get you up here if you want to play around. So I'm going to go ahead and quit the main menu. And we go to scenarios. Now I didn't sit in a chair. So I'm going to start on the floor, obviously. So let's go to ISS right here. And you see there's the picture it took. I can go and edit that and put something on it if I wanted to. If I was going to upload it to uh, Steam or something. And this is hit play and see what happens. Oh, did I set that guy to spawn? Yes, I did. I think I did. Oh, God. I have air leak. I hear an air leak. This is not good. Oh, shit. Why, why do I hear an air leak? Am I going to die? Am I dying? I don't think I'm dying. Okay, that was sound like an air leak to me. All right, let's jump in the chair. No, not out of the person. There we go. And let's put this tool away. Now, you, I could have put him in the chair before I saved, and then you'd automatically be right here going, oh, crap, and you can see the station way over there. It's kind of blurry because I have that the blur thing on, but I think I can zoom. There it is. Focus is off a bit. So you kind of can find your destination. All right, so... And there's a way f to tell you these things, to put a script up, to say, okay, turn on the engines or whatever, oh God, you know, whatever you want to put in there. That's an in-depth thing I'd have to go into because I don't have a lot of experience in it, but I could take a look. And look, we're moving right now. You know, I remember when right-click used to zoom. No dock target. Okay, so we could start heading over that way. But basically, this is how you'd get up here. And I did a couple videos before where I did the docking. But yeah, there you go. I just kind of wanted to show you that real quick. Just in case you want to come up here and check out the station. Now also, I'm going to go ahead and jump out of this guy. Yeah, he's moving. There's some death going to happen. Also, you could put a guy, instead of putting it in a ship, and I'll just let that ship cruise on by, I'm not going to say that. I'm not an editor right now. I just jumped out of the character in-game, so. If you wanted to, you could put a guy inside the station somewhere. You know, like down in here somewhere. And spawn right up in the station and you just forego the ship. Or you can put a ship that's already docked here. You can maneuver a ship here when you're building your scenario. Jump in and out of the characters. Is that ship going to come get us? Probably. I don't know if I was heading straight for us, but uh, yeah, you could, you know, have a scenario where you're already docked and then you have to return to Earth, but you got to prep some stuff inside here. So there is ways because I saw they have active computers in here somewhere. Not this one. Where is it at? Let's take a look around. Okay, we got some air. Yeah, right here. So you could put a guy in here and then he could uh, be manipulating the computer. Let's see. Can I drop another guy in here? Let's do that. I don't want to make this too long. Oh, that's right. I'm not in the editor. I'm actually in the game. So, Like I said, you could drop a guy in here. You guys it communicate. Now, I have not been able to... Uh, I tried it as a multiplayer. But what happened was a lander. One of the new landers, d descent vehicle, uh, you know, spawned up here in space. And I was like, uh, yeah, not quite what I expected. What the, uh, yeah, I'll never find that ship again. He's gone. Where's he at? Yeah, who knows? Oh, wait, wait. Is that the station? I think that's the station over there. Anyway, he's going the wrong way. But yeah, there you go. I just wanted to kind of... This is a basic setup. If you Just to get up here to get a scenario. But you're going to have to tweak with it and mess with it a little bit. Uh, if you're going to mess with the on enters and... Um, you know, those kind of things. You might want to practice on the planet because up here it's a little wonky. I mean, at least up there you have the ground, you know what I mean, to keep everything level, and then you can link them to one another. I'll get into that more in depth some other time, but just kind of get you started. And, uh, yeah, I think that uh, covers that. In case you just want to go up there and play around, check out the ISS. 
Now remember, you can put a guy right on the station and spawn there. You don't need to spawn in the ship, but as a scenario of something to do, you go dock and go in and investigate that way. Oh, whatever. Do whatever you want. That's what the fun of it is. So, yeah. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Later.